I'm Phil Charles. I'm a technical manager for Panasonic Jaguar Formula E team. This is a really exciting part of uh, Formula E development at the moment, the, the brake system. But braking in motorsport is a key important factor anyway. The longer that you stay at high speed, the better. It sounds very simple, but if you're cornering at a speed down here and you're at high speed here, I don't want to brake early and cruise to there. I want to brake as late as I can to get down to that speed. Now on top of that, I want my car in control. If my driver is absolutely in control of the car at that point, he corners more effectively, more quickly. Maybe there's a small difference between a system that works very well and a system that doesn't work very well. Uh, but the system that works a little bit better, just that confidence that it gives the driver to be able to know that he's going to hit the brakes and it's really going to stop and you're not going to lock in the rears, lock in the front car moving around. That's what gives a big difference. Formula E and electric cars, you'll, you'll hear the word regenerating a lot. Now, of course, that process is slowing the car down. Now, in Formula E, we give the drivers a paddle on the steering wheel that they can pull to, to make that happen. So he pulls the paddle and the car starts to slow. So now you've got a brake system that isn't the traditional hydraulic brakes. You've got a motor slowing the car down. In the past, you were pulling that paddle to brake. So the driver, he struggled because he pulled the, the brake and he got a certain amount of rear braking through the motor. When he pushed his foot on the brake, he would now get hydraulic at the front and hydraulic at the rear. That's not so good because we've almost got too much rear braking. Now, the brake by wire gives us the opportunity to play with map shape, we call it. We can talk by a shape and we can blend in the hydraulic and, and the regen. Really exciting. We can now play with, with the braking at the rear of the car, independent of what the driver's doing with his foot through that hydraulic system that we were originally adjusting with, with a bias bar. It's not as easy as it first looks. The driver has to get the best out of those systems and the engineers have to work with the driver to optimise those. So it might sound silly but we can give a, a really super brake by wire system but if it's set badly you don't brake well. As a driver now there's a lot of technology on these cars, they have to have a base understanding and they have to be able to work with the engineers, communication with the engineers, understand the data and really optimise, map those parameters that gives you the, the best possible braking system they can.